Hey, hey, hey there folks, Champest here, bringing another audio commentary, and today we have a game between HLA and Padash. It's a game on Twisted Meadows, and it looks like it's going to be Undead vs. Elf. And um, both these players are vaguely known, um, certainly I know of HLA. Padash, the name rings a bell, uh, I couldn't place him certainly, but um, obviously Twisted Meadows is quite an interesting map historically for Elf vs. Undead, just because there's, uh, it, it used to be so, so useful, so good for, um, gargoyles. They really went out of fashion, and, uh, with that, sort of ever creeping these, uh, corner caps sort of went out with that, but, uh, certainly, uh, that there's still a lot of, um, very, uh, promising strategies on this map for, um, Undead to play, even though, sort of, things like, uh, that mass gargoyle strategy have gone out. Obviously, uh, sort of, there's a very, um, very common late game strategy for undead where they basically try and wait till they have a huge amount of food and then push with a bunch of abominations and maybe meat wagons maybe uh... It looks like uh... we're seeing a standard opening and Padash actually interestingly going to creep this camp here obviously really hoping that um... that a HLA is in the place that he's in because otherwise it'd be really it'd be such a, so annoying to be creep jacked and actually it might still happen depending on where um... HLA goes to scout whether he scouts here and then immediately goes and looks here as the second sort of obvious place for be creeping though obviously places like this are places where um creeping could be happening and it looks like we will be seeing i think it was the warden yeah it is the warden first for padash and so um obviously a uh, pretty common um thing to do on this map nowadays is to get that warden really creep it out maybe even put down a second ancient of war maybe that's what this wisp wisp is going to do here uh try you basically you need to get to three and uh, at that point your spells can just do so much damage so that death knight really just has to avoid you and uh, can't really do the creep jacking he really wants to do as he waits for his massive tier 3 army to be coming up and looks like uh, the death knight is getting pretty close to be um, coming out the uh, warden obviously had a bit quicker just because um, undeads do a slightly different build uh, where their altar goes down a bit later and their ziggurat goes down a bit later and it looks like um, HLA has actually scouted out this creeping so he'll know exactly where to go Accolade unfortunately gets ensnared so can't try and um, steal any creeps or anything fun like that and it looks like this death knight probably coming out ooh actually bringing out a lot of ghouls I like this choice HLA knows that Padash is going for a very ambitious um, creeping here and so he's going to be able to do some damage maybe pick off some wisps maybe something like that ooh Acolyte coming in here trying to steal the kill but doesn't quite manage it and it looks like Acolyte actually getting um, shadow struck now and uh, will be taken down but it looks like uh, this warlord will survive, but level 2 will be gotten for that warden nonetheless. And actually, Padash buying a circle of nobility there as well. And unfortunately, no tome of experience for him as well. But um, certainly a decent start. Very nice by HLA putting on this pressure though. And uh, taking a quick look, it looks like actually HLA going to be going for two crypts and uh, Padash scouting this out. So we're going to be seeing a lot of early gold pressure. This could actually mean we're going to see Gargs, which is after I just about said like how unlikely it was and how it was a really an outdated strategy. Uh, obviously, um, what used to be a really common strategy was to go for uh, two ghoul, or two um, crypts, lots and lots of ghouls, just constant pressure until you were eventually forced back. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, uh, during that point, uh, during that time, all your um, low ghouls, whenever a ghoul got low, you'd just micro it back to your base and uh, you'd send it to lumber and then you'd have enough lumber detect to tier 2, get out a whole bunch of gargoyles and hopefully the time between the end of your ghoul harass and the beginning of your gar harass was so low that uh, you'd actually uh, just wood it off that. And it looks like that's what, what might be we might be seeing from HLA today, although he might, it looks like he's doing a lot of damage just with these ghouls. He has taken, uh, HLA's lost a couple ghouls already, but it looks like, um, uh, Padash has actually had to use a lot of his mana, and, uh, actually getting a nice surround there, and, oh no, just missing this round, I think, and, uh, that would have been very nice if he could have had that surround. It looks like, uh, Padash is going to get another ghoul kill if he can, um, manage to beat the coil. No more mana left on this death knight now. You do notice he went for coil first. Obviously, going for aura first is actually not too uncommon in this situation if you're going to be harassing just because it's so useful to be able to get in and out quickly and um, just cause a bit of sort of an annoyance you won't, obviously you won't be able to um, steal creeps but at the same time you're not going to lose your death knight whereas in this case actually it looks like um, Padash is going for the much more dedicated needing to use his mana strategy and also there's no death or there's no demon hunter so you, um, having or having mana to be burnt isn't too big a problem and it looks like HLA having to spread out, spread out his units a lot but Padash is taking so much damage on his um, warden needing to drop his circlet just to heal up that a bit extra amount of mana and health and it looks like a lot of wisps are going to go down and there's no tech yet from Padash I really like the second ancient of war from him as well using a dust there which is good just a uh, stop these um, archers from being able to hide in the back of the base in the range of these um, this tree of life in the Ancient of War. Interestingly, the Ancient of War are actually building more archers. I, I, 
I think it'd be quite nice just to uproot at this point, really. Level 2 now for this Death Knight, who has been Shadow Shock and is very low on health. This aura will really help him get away. Actually, no, look, he's training Death Pack here, so he's not going to get aura for a very long time. But at the same time, this probably will mean that this Death Knight can get back into this battle slightly sooner, assuming he can get the mana to use a um, one Death Pack. And, uh, ooh, very, very low health Death Knight. Death Knight goes down because of that... Um, because he didn't get that aura, bit of a shame, and that Warren hit level 3, and so that's a very promising start here for Padash, who's actually now going to be able to um, take out these uh, remaining skeletons. Look how many um, corpses there are around this Tree of Life, and uh, Padash will probably be attacking any time soon. And um, unfortunately for uh, HLA, his hero is only level 1, so it will be back very promptly. And I think um, Padash could use this time well to just creep out these warlord, this Warlord, but although this Death Knight's going to be back very soon, he'll need to start, it al start that creeping almost immediately if he wants to uh, get away with it. Meanwhile, HLA not putting up a graveyard, not attacking, so, and actually um, only with 3 ziggurats as well. So it looks like he's actually just going to be um, sticking at some sort of tier 1 push for now, and it uh, looks like um, you know, losing some more ghouls, but I'm managing to put a lot more damage off on this Warden, and that's quite important at this point because obviously there's not much moon juice left. We're approaching the end of night now as well. And so even though he's losing some ghouls here, he's uh, really, really just making sure that uh, Padash can't heal off his warden. So when that Death Knight's back out, one coil will actually, would actually take him out at this point. Although I imagine there's a bit of juice left in these moonwells. And you can see Padash actually putting up another moonwell. And an action of wonders, a really wise choice there just for the mana. Just those clarity potions are so useful. Unfortunately, Padash never went to crept out this uh, warlord. I think that would have been a nice choice. There's certainly some nice items you can get from there. And uh, I wonder, did Padash ever buy boots? I didn't even notice. I don't think he did. Yes, he did actually, sorry. Although, by the looks of it, he sold his circlet to buy the boots, which is an interesting choice. I'm not trying to fully approve. Actually, he's now creeping out this warlord, but is it too late? Because this Death Knight will be out any sec. Actually, no, the Death Knight is out. Um, somewhere, yeah, there's a death knight. Oh, he's buying a rod from Messi. And he will be um, coming to get this creep back. I think Padash will just be able to creep this in time. And um, some nice timing here. We'll get him level 4 on this warden. And that's going to be so annoying for HLA to try and kill. Oh, and a Sobi mask as well. An absolutely brilliant item. Vice of Staff Teleportation. Obviously very useful against those um, surrounds. And it looks like actually I'm immediately getting surrounded there. Using that blink to get out. Obviously now that he's level 2 blink, it only costs 10 mana. It's more of the cooldown you need to worry about. And, um... And that's why that self, self teleportation is quite useful. Otherwise, I don't think it's too important at this point. Meanwhile, actually, uh, HLA or um, Padash buying a potion of invulnerability, and um, Death Knight buying a um, scroll of healing, and a very useful item there. Although he needs to hope that there's not too much focusing. And at this point, I think the warden, if the warden had the gold leaf, that could be quite nice to retrain to um, fan of knives, just because there's so much pressure. I'm not sure if Padash has got it, but there's no tech um, sign from HLA. So it's really, really going to come down to whether or not these ghouls can do enough damage. You can see these ghouls just are managing to able to um, catch up. And actually, a Moonstone being used as well. Clearly, Padash knows he's going to need to get more mana and more health on his warden. That's really what you need that um, moon juice for at this point. You don't want to be wasting it on archers too much. A nice micro here by Padash, bringing all his archers out of the way, forcing these ghouls to constantly be run running by um, trees and agents and stuff like that, just taking a whole bunch more damage. Unfortunately, um, the, this ancient war actually building arch more archers. I think it'd be better spent just attacking those ghouls, maybe even uprooted. And um, that's, um, meanwhile, the um, warden doing a whole bunch more damage. And Padash still, or uh, HLA still hasn't hit level three, whereas Padash is halfway to um, level five at this point. So wow, what a great early start here for Padash. Even though he's taking a whole bunch of economy d damage, he can um, try and actually has a lot of money sort of. He could even try and go for attack if he wasn't too dedicated to his tree of life getting free hits on and it looks like actually yeah, this um, warden running into a bit of a bad situation there taking a lot of damage and it looks like there's no more moon juice left for um, Padash could really use another moonstone at this point because it's going to be a long time till night comes again and it looks like uh, just going off for it, just going and getting these occasional shadow strikes off on these ghouls is not quite enough to take them out just on their own but with a bit of help from the archers yeah, you can take them out and uh, either that or force your death knight to waste some mana meanwhile finally actually Ooh, wow, going for aura at level 3. I guess this is because that level 2 um, coil was actually more healing than will ever be needed for a ghoul. And um, obviously it's uh, it's very useful as a nuke, but at the same time, uh, uh, Padash actually getting uh, surrounded there that needs to TP out. But at the same time, that nuke isn't really what you need that coil for. The, the coil you really need for healing, because obviously um, coil isn't too effective against archers or heroes. And it's um, much more useful just to be able to heal up your ghouls most of the time, unless there's like a really low hero getting away or something. But even then, that hero will get away because it's a warden and it can blink and has an invulnerability potion stuff. So it's actually quite a nice choice going for that aura third. And um, 
or blushing because really didn't have an aura at all before then. And so it looks like f this um, Padash actually engaging here, taking a lot of damage, using an invulnerability potion so that he, uh, he can t continue to use the clarity on his warden. And this warden now uh, looks like he might get surrounded just as this invulnerability potion wears off and being forced to um, blink away again. Uh, it's nice just to waste a bit of her mana whenever possible. And an Ancient of Wonders now going up for Padash again. He did lose that earlier one. And meanwhile, this warden down to very low health. So perhaps HLA finally a bit on the offense. Very nice deny of that ghoul there by um, HLA and it looks like um, this Ancient of War now taking a fair bit of damage and uh, will be able to do some damage to that Death Knight which is the right target. The Death Knight does still have a, um, a um, healing scroll but actually used a uh, death pack there and this um, shop could be used by another um, invulnerability potion and that would probably be quite a wise move at this point. I mean all these archers moving into quite an unfortunate position. A nice split there just to try and distract the ghouls for as long as possible but these archers will all go down because that aura and just means that you um, can never really get away. <coughs> but <coughs> This warden now very close to being level five, though only three experience away. At which point, that um, I'm amazed that warden never retrained a sh um, fan of knives. Actually, such a nice skill to have just against these mass mass schools. And it looks like this warden just needs to um, stay on the edge of the battle. Obviously, can't engage because. Uh, she's just at too low hit points at this point. Using an invulnerability potion, hits level 5, and um, actually gets surrounded now. So